Hello, today we're going to learn how to eliminate a harsh shadow using a frequency separation technique. So you can see in this picture uh, there's some thick lines due to a harsh light and we're going to eliminate them using this technique that divides the image on two frequency levels a detailed one and one with um, colors and tones so we're gonna duplicate the background layer two times and add the new layers in a group and call the lower one low frequency and the higher one high frequency and a group is uh, frequency separation um, so we're gonna divide the image and we're gonna create another level on top of the low frequency one that is an empty level uh, where we're gonna paint with our colors to eliminate to eliminate the shadow so we turn off the top layers and work on a low frequency we go on Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and here um, we have to blur it until we can't see the pores of the skin anymore in the thin lines and blur out eyelashes and stray hair and there is no fixed uh, radius. You just blur wherever you see that the thin lines are blurred. So we can, we click OK. And then on low frequency again, we go to uh, filter, blur, surface blur. And here we have radius 11 pixels and threshold at 10. And these are fixed. Okay, and now we're gonna work on a tricky part that is on a high frequency. We turn on the high frequency level and go to image, apply image. And the source is our file, our open file. Layer is low frequency. And the blending mode is on add. And we have invert checked. So it's on add. And invert is checked. Opacity 100% and scale is 2. The other ones are the same. So we press OK. And then we change the blending mode to linear light. Now we have the image that is divided. So if we leave high frequency on and low frequency off, we see lots of details. Uh, and on the contrary, if we turn this off, we see no details at all. So we turn high frequency off. And we're going to work on the correction level, the empty one, to remove those harsh, li harsh lines that we see um, in a low frequency tool. We're going to pick our color with the eyedropper tool next to the line caused by the shadow. And with a low opacity, very low, like seven, six. We paint on the line, picking the color on both sides of the line. So we blend together the lights and the shadows. We blend the shadow and the light and vice versa. 
we can even the skin tone too with this process uh, the bags uh, under her eyes and you're still on a new level so whenever you feel you you've overdone it or you don't like it you can still erase part of what you've done or delete the layer and start over this is uh, a non-destructive uh, process we're still working to even the skin tone eliminate eliminating the harsh shadow on her nose now on her neck always remember to pick your color from both sides so that you still have a gradation of color it's not all the same it's just it's even there is no division You should be using a tablet like a Wacom one because it's not easy to do this with a mouse. It takes a lot of patience, but the result is, is really worth the work. Try not to eliminate the three-dimensionality of her neck. Preserve the shadows where they are. Just simulate a diffuse light. Another harsh one. Now we can turn on the high frequency level and we see that we have even the, her skin tone but still the lines remain because they're they're harsh so they're like details we pick our uh, clone stamp tool and pick the skin next to the place where we have the line at 100% opacity because the, we're just copying our texture so we don't need to stay low in opacity we need to have texture skin texture with this system we can also clone out some stray hair or little skin lines imperfections she really doesn't have just a little one and some skin pores you still have your background layer so it's completely non-destructive process and we even out the line on her neck almost and here we go so there is a little bit of difference here
we can also paint some um, bronze on her cheekbones to contour her face if you feel you have lost some three-dimensionality with this process so just paint like you were adding some makeup contouring and highlighting on her cheekbone on and off and then maybe you have to blur a little bit Gaussian blur a high radius here you go and so here we have it and we can clone out some straight hair on high frequency level again it's really easy because you don't have color information on this layer just detail information so it's super fast Here you go. Hope this was useful. Have a nice day. <laughs>